fucking idiots. You think you're bad cunts? I'll show you fucking bad cunts. Nick Manna. The husband of notorious gangland lawyer Zara Gard Wilson, who has spent the last two years targeting, harassing, intimidating, and even threatening anyone who dares criticize Premier Daniel Andrews, has finally been exposed for the absolute coward he really is. Lance Simon, who goes by Lucky Lance Online, has been endorsed by high-profile enablers of the Premier, such as sitting MP, hopefully not for much longer, Fiona Patton, and of course, the one and only PR guy who called Lance brave. You'll see why I'm laughing in a moment. But both ignoring Lance's shocking behaviour during the pandemic or his extensive violent criminal history. A history that he's often used to intimidate his targets. Listen, fucking idiots. You think you're bad cunts? I'll show you fucking bad cunts. I'll show you bad. In the lead up to these Victorian elections, Zara Gard Wilson's husband launched a relentless campaign against Liberal Party candidate for Mulgrave running against the Premier. I'll just say, Michael, because I know you see this video, you fucking slimy rat. I won't let this go. I won't let this go. Ever. <laughs> right? Well... A supporter of the candidate bumped into, I guess, the not-so-lucky Lance in a petrol station the other day to ask him a few questions. Watch how the self-proclaimed badass handled himself. That's going to be doing a lot of things for all of us. Yeah, yeah and all, all, all those guys working for CMSU, he's doing all, all that shit for everyone. You don't know what's going on. That politician's trying to get me in trouble. How? You're the one that said you want to go to Vic Police, didn't you, Lance? What's that? Do you want to go no, to Vic he's Police? Got, he's got... Oh, get off all the fucking drugs, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you don't fucking take it, fella. Not a case. Are you fucking attention seeking? Huh? Are you fucking attention seeking? Huh? Well, where are you gonna go? You fucking, where are you gonna run off again? Huh? Where are you going? Pussy. Look at him. Pussy. Look at him. I usually don't laugh because it is okay to be scared of confrontation. It's actually quite a normal reaction. But someone like Lance who's capitalised on his extremely violent history to rattle his political opponents, well, it does make you laugh, especially now that everyone knows he's not as tough as he makes out. Come and find me. Come and find me. You know how to find me? Come and find me. Oh, and before I forget, to the father and son, Lance has been mocking for over a year for walking away from police as they began bashing a group of anti-lockdown protesters I reckon we should fact check your ridicule. Who actually runs away like a little girl? Let's watch it again. They calmly turned around and walked away as riot police rushed their group and began bashing their friends. Now let's watch the big tough man you are running away from words. Then you had the chutzpah to rush home to jump online to claim to your gullible followers that someone just chased you out of a petrol station. I just got chased out of a survey by some guy. <laughs> well, the world can see now. No one chased you, Lance. You got scared when someone challenged your outrageous behaviour and tough talk. And you ran away to quote you like a little girl all by yourself. And guess what? We got a hold of the footage you didn't know existed. And uh, he's really got these people fooled, you know, because we all know he's not going to fucking win. Uh, And if he was to win, no, I didn't get footage, Joseph, no. Conveniently didn't get any footage. But thank goodness we did, hey? How about this for an idea, unlucky Lance? Take this as a lesson. Stop abusing candidates and their campaigns. Leave them in peace and let the Victorian public decide who to vote in or out based on the merits of their policies. If you've enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide because the mainstream media, they've actually taken Lance seriously in the last two years. So I doubt they'll be sharing what the coward is really like. And then head over to followavi.com where you can sign up to the mailing list, support my work at Rebel, and follow me across socials. Followavi.com now.